Hi friends, it's Gloria from Golden Bucket Farm. I'm the Jersey Lady One here on YouTube and wow, it has been a long time. Hello, hello. Um, since I did uh, craft videos, I, I got a boo-boo leg. Yeah, even twice. And um, along with that, my mojo just kind of went flat. And so my poor craft desk is dusty even it's been so long but I was watching um one of my favorite people Betsy Doodle that's with two t's Betsy Doodle here uh on YouTube from the UK nicely from UK and she was doing or is doing altered playing cards mm-hmm uh, a challenge made by Sally Van Nuys. It's called hashtag YT card challenge. Yeah. And so I thought there are little projects I could do that. Oh, I bumped the camera. Sorry. Uh, those are little projects that I could do and kind of get myself, <laughs> work myself back into, into my crafting. It's been just a lonely corner here. So anyway, when I uh, sat down and pulled out some cards here, I had not a whole deck. There's only 48 because I used, what would that be? Six to make a little book. Um, yeah, a little card book. <coughs> Excuse me, please. Um, and so I didn't have, but that that's plenty and and I can always find I can always find some more uh, these are uh, two decks for a dollar at Dollar Tree here in the States yeah okay so I for the first thing I did was made a list of of altered playing card themes maybe that in case I ran out of ideas or something like Earth, air, fire, and water, Christmas, Easter, Valentine's, Thanksgiving, kind of like that. So I made a list, but I'm a believer in when you sit down and what you see, sometimes the neatest things are, you know, just what we have around us. And that happened this time. What my eyes, what I came to was uh, a sheet, an 8 by 10 photo paper sheet, uh, a print that I made of our farmyard, and I didn't realize the ink was down. So I thought, well, I'm not going to throw that away. And quite a while ago, I cut out some butter or one layer of butterflies, uh, made several. I had those here with some scrap, um, yeah, scrapbook paper, scrap, scrapbook paper. <laughs> and that was kind of just here on the desk. And so I used different parts of this sheet of photo paper to make uh, four cards. So I thought, well, that's, that's not too hard. Sh shouldn't tax my lame mojo too much to do that and so <clears throat> I covered four cards with different parts of that sheet and this one happened to have one of our barns and part of a tree and that kind of made me think of the barn kitties we have three that are siblings little man big boy and my girl and they're getting to be senior kitties now. But really, some of them, the boys come in the house sometimes. In fact, I got one here by me. I see a tail sticking out from under the chair. Um, I also had a, a tray. Oh, gosh, can you see there? Yeah, a, a tr uh, like a snack tray from Dollar Tree that I used to put pieces in when I'm making a, you know, a project, 
kind of pull all the makings together. And that was a long time ago. I think I made a video of making clusters, scrap clusters from mm, Roxy Fur. R-O-X-Y-F-U-R. She's a fun gal too here on, on um, YouTube. Anyway, I had that and in there I had some of these little circles with different little stamps on here and sometimes I draw them myself but I think this is a one that I stamped. It was a kitty so it made me think of the barn kitty so I colored that in and inked it and I had uh, a sentiment, happy happy thoughts. I thought well those go together, nice summer day and the kitties and that's just a happy idea to have in your head. I painted some grass down below. I don't know if the camera, yeah it is kind of picking up a little bit. I painted with green nail polish and I like that. I try to keep some green, not for my fingers necessarily, but <laughs> for my craft projects. And then I sprinkled some real fine green, yeah it's showing a little bit, green glitter in there. So that one, that was easy one, just first one. And I had a boo-boo with my chomper womper thing here. I always get the wrong dealie. And boy, are those a pain to get out of there. Hmm. If I can pry that out and do it right. But anyway, or maybe I'll have to pound it flatter or something. Ugh. Anyway, the front side is good on that one. And... <clears throat> Boy, a long time ago, when Saw Crafter was still doing her her store, she had, these are some big bronze rings, and I thought, boy, that'll be a size. Right now, I don't need, because I only have actually three, but um, yeah, those cards will fit nicely on this uh, nice open, you know, opening ring. So, got that out. Well, then another background from that same photo paper had part of a tree, and I thought, well, it could be a bee or maybe a bird or a butterfly. And here, you know, of course, here these, these butterflies were just lying around. So I put one of those together and painted the wings, the edges of the wings, with um, what's this? Deco, Art Deco. It's nail art glitter polish again i sound like an ad for the dollar tree but anyway <clears throat> um yeah so i made a butterfly and this too just happens uh, these nice pearls came from saw crafter too i had a bunch and then when she went out and was selling all her stuff boy i bought mm, mega bunches of those so i, I i'm set let's say, for, <laughs> for pearls for a long time. So I made the body from that. And then I didn't know what should I put on here um, for a sentiment. I thought fly away with me or soar. I don't know. I just didn't like soar, not ouch, but, you know, up in the air. But I just didn't, I didn't like either one of those really. And so I put it down and went to watch some YouTube videos. And here wasn't... Uh, Betsy Doodle was one I watched and she had a card she's doing the cards too of course that's where I got my inspiration and she had We Rise by Lifting Others and she had a real sweet little sentiment that kind of went along with that little talk <laughs> about how uplifting the craft community is and yeah how we're uplifting to each other and encouraging and like that we rise by lifting others, or we rise by lifting others. And so I just ran that off. This is how I do when I, when I don't, I like to use sentiments that I, you know, found sentiments or words that I can put together or something. And I've done some videos, even how I make some from the phone book, uh, words from the phone book, which is, easy because they're in ABC order, you know, but anyway, otherwise when, when I have to make them 
for myself. I do them in all different sizes. Here were 10 different sizes. Obviously, these uh, down here would be too big. But eventually, even if I don't use this exact motto, I will, you know, use the different words in different ways. And so when I get one, I make it in all different sizes. And then I can see, you know, what size would work best. And this one did, so I inked that up. So we rise by lifting others. So that was the second goodie. And then I had thought with the butterfly, maybe I should do something with a journey. Uh, and so I was looking around. I didn't have anything in my, in my folder of, um, you know, snipped out words and like that. And I came online, looked online, and here was this little, like, road sign or something that said, enjoy the journey. And I thought, boy, that is just exactly right. So I kind of scaled that down. Whoop! I lost one of my trees. Wait a minute. I have to go retrieve that before the cat gets it. Hold on. Oh, goodness. Oh, shoot. oh there I see it. I see it. Just a second. I have to maneuver. Not the best maneuverer these days since getting older. Oh, not so good sometimes. <clears throat> well, it is. It is. I'm thankful for every day. Okay, so uh, I had that little enjoy the journey sign, and then I made some little trees. Yeah. Okay. And I got a couple more to cut out, fussy cut out, and put on. I'll put that down. And this really made me think of my family when I was growing up. We did back, oh dear, poor, poor cameras getting bumped. Um, back in the 50s, we used to go tent camping and then we upgraded to a travel trailer. And finally, well, I guess we got a fold out one too we had for a while. But finally, we bought a cottage, you know, on a lake up in Michigan and so that was kind of the end of our camping experience. But I found this little trailer that was just really like ours. Ours was aqua and white instead of pink and white. But anyway, that's what's going to go on here with a couple more little trees. Yeah. And I think. Well, I don't know. Hmm, are we are we recording again? Well, yay, if we are. <clears throat> anyway, I guess that's the end of that little card. And um, I think I'm gonna go around it with this with this stuff. Um, it's crochet cotton. I don't know again if the camera's gonna pick that up. It's gold and it has a metallic thread woven through it and boy I need a new uh, a new ball of that but boy you, you get a lot of crafting for your dollar um, well it's not a dollar but you know what I mean um, from from one of these and I put this in water in water glue or watered down glue and just kind of just sort of gently I don't squeeze it but just so that gets any big globs of glue off of it. And then you can, you know, kind of twist it and kind of make little scallops and things with it. I make bows with it. Anyway, I love that. Put that on my projects and that is dried on there just so well. Really um, makes me smile to see when they're done. You've probably seen me use that before. So this, yeah, this was the background that I started with on this one. Um, again, that was part of that same picture. I don't even know where this was, part of the grass or something. 
But I thought, well, that would make a nice one. So, okay, that was good. And I finally did figure out which, <laughs> which of the little thingies, and I'm not going to move it. I think I'm just going to leave that um, on my stomper boo thing here. What is it? Memory keepers. Yeah, but what is that? Anyway, the croc crocodile, crocodile or whatever. Um, <clears throat> found the right one, so yay. Got that part right. All right, so now that's three, and I just have one more. This one was part, I guess, more of the sky. And so then I will have four done, and yay. Um, <clears throat> I know my desk is just kind of a hot mess here. But, you know, I've gotten to think that if we only make videos or if we only do anything, really, when, when everything is perfect, uh, we'll, we'll not do some things or we'll not, in this case, make videos or things. So I just thought, yep, this is my uh, crafting desk in its working clothes and... I was just going to sit down and take care of this. And thank you to Sally Van Eyes and to Betsy Doodle for kind of jump starting um, my mojo again. And I will be back to show you what happens uh, as I get more of my cards done. And until that time, uh, just blessings on your day. Uh, I am sending you just what it says here on this first little card. Happy, happy thoughts come your way. Ta-ta. Take care. Bye for now. Gloria.